Hello YouTube. I got a call from this customer to say that during a shower, the hot water just stopped coming out of the shower. It's a bit of a strange one. They had two other plumbers around in the last three weeks. One to change the immersion in the tank, and then a different plumber to sort a leak under the bath, and then me to arrive to sort this hot water issue. So when I got there, I went straight up to the loft, checked the ball valve, um, see if that had jammed or not. When I opened the loft hatch, I found the lever valve to the cold water storage tank off. So I turned that on to start to fill the header tank and I closed the lever valve to feed the hot water cylinder. Once that had filled, I then opened the 22mm to feed the hot water cylinder, um, which filled up fine. The water started coming out the taps, checked all that, checked they had no leaks, flicked the immersions on for them, and that was it. Bit of a strange one, but that was all that. And the customer said it was, was very grateful. And also checked the leak under the bath that a previous plumber sorted out. That was all fine too. Next was to change the set of long-armed lever taps for a local uh, doctors. Um, they were not short enough, they were always springing back. So I quickly swapped them over. And this is the new shiny set. All working and operational. Very shiny indeed. Another little job out the way. Here we have in the disabled toilet in the same doctors. Uh, this tap was constantly running, so um, I got uh, the same again. Just going to uh, swap that over. But for doing tap changes, I definitely recommend this Narad tap spanner set. Uh, it's a bit expensive. It can vary from like £150 all the way up to £200, depending on where you get it. But it's an absolute lifesaver. It has probably saved me the most on bath taps the most. So I um, got that swapped over and uh, here's the new one, all working nice and shiny, like a shiny tap. So yeah, go from cold to hot, concussive, nice little tap. And then we have some more long armed pillar taps, uh, the hot was just constantly running, so uh, yeah, just not working at all. Cold is fine, but obviously you get two in the box, so I'm going to swap them over. Um, for these arm to shanks ones, um, nice and long and tall. So uh, swap those over quickly. Oh, and there you go. Nice new shiny ones, all working nice and long. So uh, they need to be long for the doctors, so they can use their elbows to turn them on and off, um, to stop contamination and stuff like that. So yeah. So here we have a bath that we need to rip out. Um, as you can see, it's got the um, it's like the plastic lip that goes beyond the tiles uh, to put on uh, on the bath. The men have stopped leaking, but uh, the board underneath wearing away. So there's lots of uh, cracks in the silicon. So we're gonna rip that out, put a new bath in, jack it up to the tiles, um, and start to reseal that in. So let's just rip that out, change it over, fill it up. So uh, just going to fill it up, make sure it's all good. And just going to seal it up, screen on, bath panel on, and away we go. So here we are in the big city that is London. Um, this leaky drain cock on this heating system in this commercial property um, was slightly dripping so just running the hose to uh, the local disabled toilet just to uh, drain that off and then we quickly swap the bodies out of the drain cock for a new one nice and easy and that is that done so that is all my projects this week if you like the content and you want to see more subscribe and like leave a comment down below what more you want what you don't like about the videos because everyone likes to say what they don't like more than they do like um yeah just like subscribe i will um be doing more of this more regularly if you comment what you like what you want to see more i can do that i will see you next week for another life of a plumber see ya take care